On this episode of I Play With Knives, I review the subscriber suggested Benchmade Bug Out 5353 Titanium Clone from DHgate. Hey, I want to start off by giving a shout out to Mixel who gave me this great suggestion for buying the titanium version of the 5353 clone. All right, first things first, open up your DHgate app and search for Benchmade Bug Out Titanium. You're going to find a bunch of options and they're really just the 5353 with titanium instead of carbon fiber. I found these ranging from about 38 bucks all the way up to about 120. The one I found was 38 bucks and if you want to get a real 5353, it is 280. Three weeks of Chinese shipping later. All right, let's open up the vault of clones and choose a knife to compare this to. And you guys know which one I'm gonna get. It's the only one that's gonna compare well. And that is my favorite clone, the 5353 Carbon Fiber. And if you wanna check out this review, I'll put the link up here. And I love this knife. I've been using it for about 10 months now and it is awesome. All right, this thing finally came in, so let's go ahead and open this up. Hey, I wanted to talk to you guys about why I do these videos. Uh, these videos are obviously their knockoffs, fakes, clones, whatever you want to call them. Um, but there's a reason why we do this. Number one, to see what these fakes look like in their packaging. Obviously, if you buy some one of these on the streets, you're going to see this packaging and just know that it's fake if it doesn't have the correct information on it. Like that. It's not life sharp. You can't sharpen these things through the factory or throw them away. So when we open this bad boy up, you're going to see all the traditional stuff with fakes. The fake little soft. Insulation, we'll throw that away. All this fake information throw it away, you know, this authentic looking Benchmade letter about all the features, that's garbage too, and then you got your standard box, I'm not going to use that again, and this weird sock, which I don't even know if the real ones have this, I'm not going to use that again. Alright, let's get down to the real good bits here, which is the knife. This thing... All right, it's pretty nice. It looks pretty good. It's a little greasy as you can see. See right in there on the hinge pin. But this thing's pretty good. It, it's literally the 5353 carbon fiber with a different scale on it. And Benjamin doesn't make this version. They make a different titanium version. And who knows if this is actually titanium or not. I mean, I'm sure I could put it to a grinder and do some tests on it, but it is what it is. It's 38 bucks. This thing folds nice. It operates well. It's shiny. And I bet this thing is sharp. All right, let's start with our standardized test. To compare, we're going to use the real carbon fiber 5353 specs. Let's start with the measure test. The real one comes in at overall length of 7.46 inches and a blade length of 3.24. And this looks pretty darn accurate. Up next is the weight test. Now, I don't really know where to go on this one because the real carbon fiber one comes in at just over two ounces, but this one comes in at 3.1 ounces. Up next is the sharpness test where we take this piece of paper and we cut it a few times to see how sharp it is. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, go ahead and do that. It doesn't cost you a thing, and you can get notified of new videos that are uploaded every week. All right, let's see how this does. First cut with this knife. I bet it's pretty sharp. Oh, it is sharp. Look at that. Nice. Man, this thing is smooth like butter. Let's see if we can get some slivers on this. Oh. This is a joy right here. Oh, that was my fault. Let's see. Smooth. Smooth. Those livers. Yeah. 
Man, this thing is sharp. I'm just gonna shut up and have you listen to it. Let's check the tip. Perfect. Alright, that is one sharp knife. Let's see if it'll cut hair. And it shaves hair. Look at that. Awesome. Up next is a tip test where I take this 2x6 and I shove the tip in about eight times and see if there's any damage on the blade. And just like always, safety first. Let's put a glove on. All right, let's see how we did. For a thin, slicey blade, there is no damage on this thing. This thing held up really well. I'd give this two thumbs up. So overall, you guys know what I'm gonna say about this knife. It is a good knife for 38 bucks. It's one of the best. You know, in comparison to the carbon fiber, I think I still like the carbon fiber better than the titanium if this is even titanium I just like the look of it better than the metal finish but this is a close second this is a really nice knife and it's worth your 38 bucks and worst case scenario buy one of each of these things and put the scales on a real bug out all right thanks for watching guys if you like this video go ahead and click on the like button and leave some comments down below about this knife keep them sharp and take it easy. Amber, <laughs> I got a new knife for you to tell me what you think of it. Okay. Okay, here it is. This looks exactly the same as all the others. It's not. This isn't just like a bench made bug out, just like in all the others? No. It's titanium.